What if we told you Earth is vulnerable from a supervolcano that threatens to put an end to all life? You might think supervolcanoes don't happen often and are once in a million year occurrence. While this is definitely true, we never know when a supervolcano could be triggered and destroy the entire planet. As humans, we won't have much time and humanity will end within a short span of time. So are we at threat from a supervolcano destroying Earth and life as we know it? Let's find out in this video. But before we begin with the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. With that said, let's dig right into today's content. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean on Earth. The word Pacific means calm and was coined by renowned Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan after he found the ocean to be calm and silent as he sailed through it. In reality, however, the Pacific Ocean is a hothead of tectonic and volcanic activity and threatens to put an end to life on our beautiful planet. Scientists recently found the presence of a massive volcano which is the size of New Mexico in the Pacific Ocean, about 1,600 kilometers east of Japan. The volcano is known as Tamu Massif, outweighs Mauna Loa, one of the largest active volcano in Hawaii. William Sager, a geology professor at the University of Houston in Texas, said this finding goes against what we thought because we found that it's one huge volcano. Sager also said it is in the same league as Mount Mons on Mars, which has been considered the largest volcano in the solar system. Tamu Massif is a rounded dome measuring 450 by 650 kilometers. Its top lies about 2,000 meters below the ocean surface, while the base extends to about 6.4 kilometers deep. Tamu Massif overshadows the largest active volcano on Earth, Mauna Loa, which measures about 2,000 square miles. Tamu Massif, which is made of basalt, is the oldest and largest feature of the oceanic plateau known as the Shatsky Rise in the northwestern Pacific Ocean. The total area of the rise is almost the same as Japan or California. Sager began studying Tamu Massif about 30 years ago. Scientists have known about the Shatsky Rise since the early 20th century when it was first mapped. According to Sager, Tamu Massif is a massive volcano with a much more gentle slope than classic seamounds. He said the slope is close to the summit of Tamu Massif, only around one degree. The slope is half a degree down the flank, and it's even less than that near the base. Scientists perceive that giant Shatsky rise has formed over time as the composite of many volcanoes that developed together. This was in a process similar to the way the Big Island on Hawaii was made by the outpouring of five separate volcanoes that were nearby. But when Sager and his colleagues looked at seismic data of Tamu Massif, they were astonished at what they found. According to Sager, we saw what appears to be lava flows going out from the center of the volcano in all directions, with no large secondary source of volcanism, so that was a surprise. The team performed geochemical analysis on core samples taken from the massif. They found that the vast structure appears to be made out of the same rock of the same age. So the scientists concluded that Tamu Massif was produced by a single volcano in probably over a few million years. Sager added that the volcano no longer existed shortly after it formed. That was around the late Jurassic to early Cretaceous period nearly 145 million years ago. Sager believes a lot more work is required on other oceanic plateaus. He believes there could be a dozen of these things out there. He commented about the likelihood of more large shield volcanoes under the sea. Sager noted that although Tamu Mastif seems to be the largest single volcano on Earth, there are still larger volcano complexes such as Sinrian Traps capable of holding other mysteries. He said these features were likely formed from different sources of molten rock, unlike Tamu Massif's formation under the new theory. Speaking of how the volcano formed, Sager affirmed that scientists are still trying to figure out how Tamu Massif formed. He said it seems likely that the spot on the seafloor had the right mix of elements, which included a boundary of three tectonic plates, a thin crust, and a source of hot magma beneath that could bubble up to the surface. The molten rock poured out and then built up a broad, gradual rise as it became cool. How the magma made it to the surface is an open question. 
maybe a blob of the rock, got superheated and then rose to the surface due to buoyancy, or cracks in the overlying crust could have opened, which allowed the molten rock to spill out. The next phase will be more work to figure out what the source of the magma was, says Sager. Sager believes that data would give him a better idea of how the lava spread. According to Sager, not only does Tamu Masif give us a new wow in the form of a new giant volcano, but it gives us a new insight into a building block of the Oceanic Plateau. He is not sure if the new volcano will assist scientists in better understanding Olympic bonds on Mars, but noted that we can see the surface of Mars better than we can see the bottom of the ocean. He supported his point by saying Tamu Masif has been hiding out for 145 million years because it found a good place to hide. Let's talk a bit about Mauna Loa, currently the largest active volcano in the world. Scientists believe the volcano is preparing for an eruption and the chances of one are close to 100%. This can prove catastrophic and therefore we need to prepare ourselves. Mauna Loa is currently perceived to be the biggest threat of all. Well, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.